Hello, I'm going to share with you today a very powerful technique of how to get started with web development. Um, I don't like to start from scratch. I don't like to reinvent the wheels. So with that in mind, I'm going to show you how to create a starter page, not a template, a starter page. The same pages that you get when you go to File, New, Command N, Macintosh, Control N. I'm talking about these files here. What I want to do is I want to show you how to create your own starter file here. Very simple, very easy to do. So let's get started. Okay, so I have a starter page created, but it's not in the correct folder. My starter page creates, my starter page basically consists of my basic bread and butter HTML tags. Notice I have a list of HTML tags followed by a series of link tags followed by a series of class tags. I'm a big user of class tags for things like floats and colors, floats and colors. For headlines, I would use H1, H2, H3, H4 tags. Now, I'm just going to rearrange this a little differently so that this appears right here. Make a change, save a change. So my objective here is to turn this page into a starter page. So how do I do that? First of all, if I go to my layouts palette, my layouts folder rather, which is inside of built-in, which is inside configuration, which is part of Dreamweaver CS5, which is part of your applications. So we're gonna to go to this folder. Now notice that these files in here are HTM files. So if you wanna put an HTM file in there, what you're gonna to have to do is take that file Take that file and put that file inside there with an HTML extension. So I'm going to do that with my starter page. Now, what I'd like to have happen, I want my starter page to appear on top. So a simple way to get it to appear on top is just to put a one next to it. So I'm just going to say one CSS starter page dot HTM. So I put one before. It's very simple to have it appear in the top. Just make sure that it has an HTM, not an HTML extension. Okay, so I'm gonna take that starter page, I'm gonna drag it right here. Notice it appears on the top. Now, how does that help me? When I go back to my Dreamweaver file to make a new file, command new, there's my starter page. There's my starter page that I can stop, start with. Now, if you want a snapshot of it, there's a quasi snapshot of the starter page right there with HTML. So let's get started with this. What I'm going to do is go to new HTML and pick this starter page and hit create. So there's my starter page. Now my page doesn't have a title, but it does have the basic HTML tag. So I'm going to say put this inside the client one folder. And since this is the first page, my habit to get into is index v1, index version one, and I save. Now, since this has saved me a lot of time, this is not a template. This is not a template file. This is a starter page file. So then I would title the page, client name comp one. Get the habit of titling the page for search engine purposes. So the only div tag I have here is the wrapper tag. Now I'm gonna share with you my technique for these basic HTML tags, these basic HTML tags. So as an example, notice I have image tag, but I have an image tag floating to the right with a class tag. By default, the image tag is going to float to the left, but I'm going to have the option of having an image tag that floats to the right. Now, how do I use my site colors? Now, notice how these are named. These are named specifically this way, and I'll share with you in just a second. So let's say as an example that I want to put a menu here. So I'm going to say menu, double click copy, come up to layout tab, and insert div tag called menu. Now, because I have class tags for this, by default, I want my menu tag to float to the left. So I have something called the left float div. So menu tag is going to float to the left. Okay, now I'm going to set a rule for the menu tag. Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Again, I don't have to be this specific, so I'm going to say just menu tag. And I'm going to make my menu tag set 300 pixels wide by 400 pixels high. So there's my menu tag. Now, next to my menu tag, next to this menu tag, I'm gonna put a content tag. I'm gonna show you a concept here of why I set up my color palette this way. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna say after tag, after the menu tag, 
I'm going to put a tag called my content. Now I also want to float this to the left too, so I'm going to float this to the left, so now they both appear next to each other. I'll create a rule for this, and we'll simply make our my content be, let's make this uh, 550 pixels wide by 300 pixels high. Okay, this is just for the purpose of showing you how I'm using these class color tags. Now, so a very important step here, because this tag, this menu tag already has a class assigned to it, I can't just go and pick, say, D site color. That's gonna kill the float. Because you can't, that's how, how menus work. You can't apply two classes to it this way. However, I can select the div tag, go to my code, and my code is sitting right here. So I can basically put my cursor right here and hit the pound symbol. Now, here's where it gets cool. Why do I call A color, B color, C color, and not site A, site B? Because now I can type to it. So I can hit CS for site color C. I can hit the pound, the space bar, and hit DS for color D. So, that's a simple way to name class tags correctly. So if I select the float tag, float tag here is float to the left. I go to my code. I put my space bar here, the cursor here, and the space bar. So let's make that a B color. So I can just say BS, return key. Incidentally, if you want to toggle between design mode and code mode, it's control tilde, control tilde. Make a change, save a change. That's my technique for doing a starter page. More importantly, that's my technique working with classes and how you can assign multiple classes to the same div tag or the same tag.